In this video, we'll explore how you can use a wireless optical dissolved oxygen sensor to study a variety of phenomena, and we'll cover ODO sensor care tips to keep the sensor performing at its best. Regardless of which PASCO wireless optical dissolved oxygen sensor you have, the measurements are automatically adjusted for ambient pressure and temperature conditions, and calibration is optional. I've already connected my wireless ODO sensor to SparkView, but the sensor is also compatible with ChemView and Capstone software. You can see the sensor has two measurements for aqueous solutions, one measurement for air, and a temperature measurement for either air or aqueous solutions. I'll choose the Monitoring Dissolved Oxygen Quick Start Experiment to display a couple of water quality parameters. First, I have to remove the rubber boot. The boot keeps the probe cap membrane from drying out while also protecting it from accidental contact and scratches. And the sponge inside the boot keeps the probe sensing layer at optimal humidity when it's not being used. Grasp the probe body with one hand and remove the boot with the other hand by turning it clockwise while looking at the probe. I'll rinse the probe and put it in the holder and set it in a speaker of tap water And we'll take a reading, but first, let's talk about sensor use and care while we wait for the sensor to come to temperature equilibrium with the water sample to get the most accurate measurement. As I already mentioned, calibration is not required, but if you would like to calibrate your sensor against the standard, PASCO software allows you to calibrate through the dissolved oxygen saturation measurement. For calibration steps, visit the help system for your PASCO software program. The ODO sensor is set up to measure freshwater samples by default. If you are testing brackish or saltwater samples, you must adjust the salinity constant. Configure the sensor properties to modify the salinity constant in parts per thousand or PPT as measured with a salinity sensor. The sensor will store whatever value you enter here, so it's a good practice to return the constant back to zero when you're done with your measurements, unless your sensor is dedicated to measuring saltwater samples of similar salinity. Although you can measure oxygen gas in the air with the wireless ODO sensor, it's important to minimize the amount of time the probe end is exposed to air to keep the sensing layer at the end of the probe from drying out. Also make sure the boot sponge is thoroughly moistened, but not oversaturated with distilled water and always store the probe with the sensing layer in contact with the sponge. When using the probe, don't allow the sensing layer to contact anything but your sample. Rinse the probe between samples with the still water and gently shake or blot with a lint-free and scratch-free wipe and avoid direct contact with the sensing layer. If necessary, you can use a mild detergent to clean the probe, but avoid harsh cleaners and organic solvents as these will damage the sensing layer. By storing and cleaning the probe properly, your ODO sensor will enjoy many investigations. But if the sensor becomes unresponsive, it's possible that the cap is damaged or degraded and needs to be replaced. You can order replacement caps at pasco.com. Now let's do a quick water quality investigation and see how the dissolved oxygen concentration of this tap water sample at rest compares to the concentration while being stirred. At rest, the dissolved oxygen concentration is 7.66 milligrams per liter at a temperature of 24.6 degrees Celsius. Let's turn on the magnetic stirrer and see how adding turbulence affects water quality. As you can see, the dissolved oxygen concentration is increasing as more oxygen from the air is mixed into the sample. Whether in the lab or in the field, you can investigate living and non-living factors that affect the amount of dissolved oxygen available in water, such as temperature, turbulence, 
presence or absence of living things like aquatic plants, phytoplankton, or other aquatic life. Go to pasco.com to see what accessories are available for your wireless ODO sensor and look for student activities in the experiment library, such as an aquatic photosynthesis investigation. Thanks for watching and see you next time.